I wasn't thinking about making a video quite so soon on the heels of my first video. However, I felt I wanted to do this primarily because in 1997 when I left the organization, there was no support out there. And the only support that was as a gay man was the gay ex Jehovah's Witnesses. And there was so much hate. Uh, I heard people lamenting and hating the organization for the, the time that they had lost for all of this span where they could have been experiencing and living a life. It really, to use a colloquial term of the 1970s, really turned me off. Um, it really wanted me to draw away from anyone who was an ex Jehovah's Witness. One thing I think that we is that we cannot hate. Uh, when we leave the organization, I had my my bout with it too, where you hate the organization and you you castigate it. But what really we can't hate it. Now we can hold it accountable, and I think it should be held accountable for the lies it perpetrates, the misdeeds it does. Uh, the false theology it perpetrates, the, the child abuse that it hides, the, the um, abuse uh, of marriage partners, um, spousal abuse that goes on. Uh, all of those things should be held accountable, but we, we have to get beyond the hate. We can't hate. And I think that's one thing that uh, learning in the years that I was in the in the in the neo pagan movement, it's one thing that I did come to appreciate, and that is we have to learn from what we went through. And there was a lot of things that I did learn. Uh, I met a lot of very fine people, as I said in my previous video. There's many people I would love to strike up a conversation with now. Uh, young young men that I knew back then to see what became of them, how they, how they grew up into, uh, into their 30s and into their 40s. Uh, contemporaries of myself, I would love to get to know again. I probably will not have that opportunity and so I'm not going to lament it. However, I'm not going to hate. There's a lot of people who seem to have this build up hate for the organization, hold it, hold the organization accountable. Hold the organization for what for the same standards it does. It's misleading people. Uh, there is a, a scripture that talks about if you does not if they if it is a false prophet, how do they know if it's a false prophet if what they prophesy does not come true? Then you know it is not coming from Jehovah, and therefore the prophet should be stoned. This is in the uh, uh, Levitical law. So. We know that the Watchtower Society should be done away with. It should be held culpable for all the lies, all the deceits, all the things that's gone on. But let's not focus on the hate. Let fo let's focus on how we can go beyond the hate and build a life that we really should have had. The Watchtower Society does not allow you to live. It is indeed truly a cult. And I wanted to add this addendum, as it were, to my first video because that's one of the things that really put me off um, getting into contact or staying in contact with any ex Jehovah's Witnesses. I found so much hate out there. I don't hate. Um, there are some people that I do not want, if I met them in public, I would make a point of making them uncomfortable to talk to them. I would go up and I, they would be too um, aware to to make an, uh, 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 a scene. And I would go up to them and intentionally engage them in conversation. Uh, that And they knowing that I've disassociated myself. There are some people I would actually do that to. There are some people who if they didn't speak to me, I would not speak to them. I would respect their opinions. Uh, it all depends on, on how they treated me. And there are some things that I just 
I'm not going to say I can't forgive, but there are some things that I have to look at and say, okay, uh, how much damage did what you push do? So uh, the, the th main, th main thrust is let's not hate. Uh, I'm tired of hate. Uh, you see so much hate in today's world right now with the political climate in, in this nation. Hating just something else is just, it's just adding hate to hate. And I'm sorry, I've always seen it, and it's stated in scriptures, that hate will beget hate. You know, you can't get love from hate. So let's, you know, try to overcome that negative view of the society. Acknowledge that it did, did what it did. Just like you can, no, we can acknowledge anything in our lives. All of us have made mistakes. Um, let's admit that we made a mistake. The watchtower is culpable, and go from there and hold the watchtower up culpable. But let's not hate. Let's not get. Let's not get embroiled in flames of hatred for an organization, because ultimately people make decisions, and we decide whether or not to follow something. Again, this is uh, XJW Larry signing off. Hope that you're blessed and that you stay safe.